Hello friends! Today I am making a cute little mini painting that is great for beginners and I was inspired to paint the ocean because June 8th is World Ocean Day. We start off by wetting the paper. I am using some greens and blues, turquoises, whatever you might have on hand that uh, would go good for ocean water. This is Viridian Hue I'm using. Okay, so I am mixing up some gold, yellow ochre, and a little bit of quinacinum red. to make the beach. I like using the gold because it's transparent and it has a very nice shimmer, especially if you're going to give this to somebody as a gift. And just adjust your colors as you're going along. I thought it was a little too red there so I added some more yellow. Going back while the paper is still wet. I'm putting in a little bit of magnesium blue. And I just used a reference photo from Pixabay to get my inspiration um, and looking at the patterns of the water there to make this little painting. This is called Marine Blue and it's a really nice, rich, deep color. Adding in some more Viridian in the lighter parts. Now I'm just picking up some of the color just to make the pattern of the waves a little bit more pronounced. Okay, so I'm basically just blotting my brush off on a piece of paper towel. Adding in some more marine blue to darken things up. Just need a little bit more of a contrast.
using some white for the foam of the water. This is Dr. Martin's uh, watercolor white. Sometimes tilting the paper will kind of help the paint sort of run in the direction you want it to. using a script liner brush to make some faint lines of the waves undercurrents washing back I need a nice edge of the foam so I'm adding a bit more of the beach color and then it's a good demarcation line it shows the ocean foam better. I waited for it to dry and now I'm going over it again while it's dry and trying to make very, very faint lines. Getting some of those foamy lines on the peach as well. Just randomly making very light strokes. Some areas the foam is bigger chunks, so I'm just trying to do a sort of organic feel to the paint. You could also splatter some spots too. And that's it. I like taping the sides. It has a, a nice frame to it. I was trying to show you the gold uh, shimmer, but it's hard to show up on camera. And here are the cute little frames that I got to make these four by six paintings.